Hi everyone, today I want to show you several new features and tell about some changes in the upcoming release of the global construction. First is that the dockable kit container now has named docking ports so that you don't mess up things accidentally. Uh, each function of each port uh, is named accordingly and you can rename any of the ports. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is the change, a uh, rather drastic change, uh, in the speed of deployment of the containers. Uh, the problem was uh, that uh, a heavy container, uh, several uh, tens of tons, a hundred tons like that, um, during the deployment uh, could uh, break part joints uh, and uh, parts it was attached to uh, because the momentum uh, that it transferred uh, to the parts uh, during the small changes in size each frame was uh, too big uh, so in order to elevate this uh, I had to slow things down and now the deployment speed depends on the mass of the container with the kit inside. Uh, so the heavier the container, the slower it um, deploys. Uh, to, to give you the feel of uh, what it's like, we will now assemble some, something big in this container well the same ship that uh, we had assembled in the previous video the long ranger as you can see at first the container resizes uh, pretty fast because it doesn't wait much, it's just empty space. But then as we start assembling the kit inside uh, it becomes uh, heavy, heavier, while the construction or rather assembly goes. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you is the new uh, items in the containers part menu that allows you to first show the deployment hint without the need to open the main uh, window of the mod. Uh, and you also can enable uh, the deployment hit in editor to see how large uh, the deployed container will be uh, and how its contents will be oriented Uh, the second uh, thing, uh, it's uh, a new and uh, rather handy, I would say, feature, is that now you can see which resources the build vessel will require. Uh, you can see it 
in, a, in several different ways. First, you can just select the kit uh, in any of the workshops and the pane at the bottom shows which resources it would need uh, when you construct it, after you construct it. So we can select a kit, deselect a kit, or close this pane using this X button. The second, you can use uh, the part menu of the container, show required resources, to open a simple window with the same exact information. And of course you can do it in editor too. Okay, so let's finish the assembly of the kit and see how it will be deployed. Okay, so it took us uh, about 10 days to assemble this thing and now we'll see <coughs> how long will it take to deploy it. So again, it's huge. And we have three hours, 20, almost 22 minutes on the clock. Let's start the deployment and see. So First of all, as you can see, uh, as you can't see, <laughs> uh, the deployment is so slow that uh, it isn't detectable with naked eye. So we have to uh, we have to time warp. factor of 10 you already see the deployment 50 even 100 and it's still not uh, so fast Well, this also makes sense game-wise because, uh, you know, the engineers have to unpack the things, uh, move around 55 tons of cargo, build this construction space. Okay, so... The deployment is complete and 4 hours and 38 minutes, so about an hour and 15 minutes passed. Uh, not so... Not so much uh, compared to the assembly and construction, but now it is a considerable time. <sighs> okay. Next thing I would like to demonstrate uh, is the following. Uh, previously you, to construct something, uh, you had to create a kit, no matter where, on carbon or on another planet or in orbit, but you have to had to create a kit, then place it somewhere, then construct it, uh, construct the vessel inside it. Now 
using stationary assembly spaces like this one or the ground uh, assembly line which has assembly space uh, uh, right inside it you can construct vessels directly inside if they are small enough to fit so let's uh, select this assemble space and add uh, a small vessel As you can see, the assembly space reports that it is possible to construct this kit directly, uh, directly in this space. But first we of course need to assemble the kit itself. And as you see, now the kit is shown twice. Uh, first is the interface of the assembly line, which uh, allows you to finalize the assembly and spawn the container uh, with the kit. Uh, but second, it is shown in the workshop interface as a kit available for construction and if we add it here to construction queue and start the construction it will disappear uh, from the assembly line because you cannot uh, pack it into the kit container anymore uh, but you can construct it here and uh, sp spawn it right inside uh, the assembly space. So let's do it. Here it is, here is our vessel. So here we are, that's, that's all the features that you'll see in the next release. Uh, just one more thing I want to, uh, to demonstrate, uh, well it's the same thing, the in place construction but on the ground. So we open the assembly line and add a small rover to it. We assemble the kit. And then we open the interface of the workshop and construct it here. 
and by here I mean the assembly line. Like this. So thank you for watching and enjoy global construction.